Okay, a bit of a longer game, 13 and 3. It's more rapid, but... The longer play seeks don't seem to be attracting as many people, so we could come... We could, but then that wouldn't be a very good situation for us. Let's go here. Because the knight could take. We take back, then this bishop takes the pawn. We could. But then again, his knight does that lovely whirlwind situation. Castle. So even from the smallest of manoeuvres that we've done at this stage, we've circumvented the potential fancy, dirty tactic type things that the opponent could have taken place. Now he's got to focus on, I was just about to draw the arrows, manoeuvring in the centre. Just develop, nothing fancy. For me, I think it's about if I see something future tense, you know, such as, you know, like grabbing this pawn, but obviously the knight's protecting, pushing this pawn through in the centre here. But at this moment in time, it's not very good because obviously the knight's on this pawn here. It's got the diagonal foot of the bishop. But our brains play tricks on us. And quite a lot of chess players or chess games that you see, you see a player make a move and you go, why did you make that? And you know for well their brain would have thought about it. They would have done the calculation, but then it selected the one that it ideally likes, but it forgets about your calculation that you've actually put into place. Could come here, pawn drops down, I'm a trap in my night type thing. Let's go here. Yeah, it's the, it's the scourge of the calculation. This is why I try and just do four, up to four, and try and maintain, potentially, if it is being followed, the calculation, the actual process that we'd calculated, not then find another magical move that we hadn't calculated, just because it looks fine. Knight's attacking the queen. Obviously, the knight can take. Do we take with the pawn, or do we take with the bishop? going to take with the bishop because it's not challenged at the moment knight's probably going to move as we've said take the bishop for free do we have an issue here not yet bishop really doesn't have anywhere to go apart from coming back here so at least it's defended so it can take back if need be if it's going to be pressured yeah we can bring the bishop back here so we've got a bit of a safe haven here. Knight could come to put pressure onto the F pawn. Because it does have the diagonal support here. I mean that's like a basic manoeuvre. But it's something to contemplate. It's just that we don't really have our bishop out yet. But do we have to have it out? Is it going to help us? Is it easily defended? If we bring the knight here. Can it be blocked? Can that attack be blocked? It could move the pawn down. The knight can come here attacking the rook. Rook moves, then the knight comes here. Queen takes, bishop takes the rook. But before all of that, circumventing the maneuver in the first place. Oh, I circumvented it inwardly. So if we capture, his pawn captures going to capture do have this rook that's looking to get into this position so that looks quite tasty so we can come here obviously defending with the pawn it's not defending with the pawn interesting let's grab okay so that's even more interesting it does allow us now the knights come into this position attacking the pawn got to be careful this rook could do a fancy little because this isn't a check on the king it is if the bishop comes here and then the queen has to give itself up basically because the king doesn't have, ooh, ooh, what's going on here so the queen's down attacking it's giving space for the king as well 
which is a shame. Okay, so I'm going to go here attacking the rook and the queen with the support from the bishop. And the king's moved thinking it had a check on, so we'll take the queen. Looks like the opponent may have left the game. Yes, we'll claim victory on that. Okay, yep, nice practice. Um, good targeting, sitting back, having a look and um, getting the right position. Um, like I say, we talked about this position for a while. Once we saw it, the opponent had many opportunities to block it off and it looked like they were blocking it off, but they were then creating more spaces for us to eventually get this type of position without us actually having to do anything. So this is a case of the opponent giving, giving you better position on the board. Okay, so we're going for a 15 and two game. Again, it's another longer game. And uh, they've opened up the space around the king. That makes for an interesting situation. Let's just push through here first. I'm not going to rush in. Let's just capture this pawn here. Simplify it down a little bit. And develop the bishop making space for castling. So I'm actually, it's frowned upon taking the knight here with the bishop. The computers don't like that. We'll go here and then just capture here with the queen. So he's blocking off now, he's having a panic knowing that the king is all airy. So we're just going to bring, oh, what's going to bring it there? Hoo -hoo. Let's go here. Just develop the knight. Wants to exchange, wants his queen in front of our king. Don't really see a problem with that. Probably looking to advance a little bit of a center pawn here. Let's take here. Knight's coming down, looking to, ooh, that's a nice home for it. That's a nice home for it. Let's just attack this pawn in the meantime. And I'm going to capture this pawn. His rook is going to attack our queen and the queen will be trapped, but not for long. Let's go here. Oh no, he's not doing that. So that upsets his rook a little bit. This knight's got this nice position here. I don't really want that, but we're going to attack. See if we can, yeah, look, he's going for it anyway. Let's attack. Don't really like the knight being there. What can we do about this situation? I'm going to bring the rook here. Ideas are coming here, but his ah, his knight is going to put a check on our king. is going to come here okay it's the most annoying so we'll go here let's attack the knight again this single knight whirlwind situation can get quite annoying let's bring the knight here attacking his pawn oh here we go So he has to move so we can take the pawn. He's taking this pawn here, but the knight is going to be on that. But then his rook is going to attack our knight. Oh, do we have a fork? Or do we just protect the pawn first? Then his rook comes across. Let's protect the pawn first. Whoa! So he loses the pawn. He loses another pawn. But his king is well developed. We've got lots of pawns that can potentially get pushed up. Ouch. He's going crazy with the knight now. We could grab this pawn and bring the king here. Let's push. Oh, keep these linked. Let's go up.
be nice if I could get that one up there, but I suppose it's not going to make much difference. Looks like the opponent signal is showing left the game. Uh, interesting. That was a quite a funky situation. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe they did. Well, for me, I think it was better that they did more of the night moves instead of developing their other pieces so that helped us win a smallest of tempo in terms of position on the board because they seem to rely a little bit on their night too much um, just go through it again because I, I think i quite like the end result of that shall we look at an analysis while i see what computer dot is saying show it on there no I can't see it on there uh, right okay just bringing the bishop through bishop attacking yeah so yeah taking when it's appropriate their position didn't look too bad spotting things capturing upsetting the rook position attacking again giving them something to think about we did worry about this knight position here that's a really quite a good position for their knight and they capture and we're coming up now looking to see if we can double up but then we have to bring the rook back and now he's got this knight that's doing the merry dance so maybe there was probably too many rook knight moves and i don't know if the exchange was right here I'm glad that they didn't work their rooks together when they had them on because it to me it looks like they're in a better place to actually own a file you know with the rook you know they're sort of in a better stronger position whereas I'm struggling to find a place for my rooks <coughs> so I think maybe but because his knight was under threat it was the over, over, or, excuse me, over utilizing the knight. Probably, maybe this rook coming here would have put more frighteners on me because then he's owning a file with the rooks. Whereas this rook is in the middle of the board doing nothing. So that's probably what I was more fearful of. Yes, the dancing knight, yes, it could put checks on, but it wasn't all owning anything. So now it was sort of running yeah okay i just want to check one more thing so it's gone so the knight moved could he still have gone for another double i'm looking for the advantages of the doubling doubling the rooks is a, a key factor if you can and that's more winning i think for them because the knight's not under threat there is it no 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 yeah, so I didn't need to worry about this pawn. This pawn was no, nothing was put attacking it. I think just bringing the rook here. Yeah, points to note, but points to note, I shouldn't be in this type of position anyway. You know, I should be in this position. Okay, this is a three and two up. Quick game. I've not played a quick game for ages. Shouldn't really play the quick game as I'm. Um, I weaned myself off them for the tournaments and it's been doing okay for me and I feel more comfortable you know with the longer games nice and steady taking time I felt like I wasn't making as many blunders as if I you know when I've been practicing blitzy type stuff before the, the long play games it does it does impact a little bit on how you think and how you move on the board so I'm only playing this one and then that's it I'll go back to the long play Although this doesn't feel like it's quick because the opponent is taking an exorbitant amount of time to, to make a move. Well, I suppose he's got he's got three minutes and three seconds, so he can he can wait out that time. A bit of coffee then. Yeah, 
Here's a three second increment so you can claw that back up dead quick. Especially if you're like a bullet type person. So they've attacked, keep it simple. Let's grab this. There'll be an attempt at getting it back somehow. Let's go here. If this knight wasn't there, that probably would have been an appropriate move with the queen. Because the queen could take the pawn then. Right, let's castle. Uh, let's lean on a smaller piece, attacking a higher piece. I mean, he can take with his knight. He's not wanting to do any of that. We don't have a white square bishop. We do have a knight that could attack. Uh, do, 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 do. He's playing with his bishop, though. His king queen let's go here because if the knight disappears the pawn goes but then the queen is on here um yeah that's right we can take here they're moving so fast it's unreal let's just put a check just to get a bit of a tempo thing okay and the knight looks like it's saying something it's like it's saying some oh that was wrong uh, oh well the bishop could have taken the queen. <laughs> that was so wrong. This is why I don't play quick games. Uh, ownership of the file of some sort. Gotta be, gotta be wary here because we go up and he's attacking our bishop and the pawn. So I'm gonna go here first. He's attacking the bishop anyway. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I like my bishop, but you know. Let's go here for today. And I like my rooks. Let's go here. It's got the pawn at last. Hey. Let's dare to elevate the king. Now they're moving dead fast. Yep. Yeah. It took a long, long time at the beginning. So Got to be exchanging, hasn't it? No, doesn't want to exchange. He's saying, I've got something better. Let's attack the bishop. Yeah, he's saving his bishop. Let's get this pawn behind the behind the knight oh he's actually captured well oh. let's go here could capture capture push past options figure four check down get everything on a white square he's attacking oh he's got my pawn I have to go for this pawn then let's grab this one King, it's on my king. What's the meaning about that? What's the meaning behind that? Let's go here. Two minutes thirteen. Let's grab here. Let's grab that. Let's go here. And let's go there. If he goes across, we come across. Oh, he might win out here. Oh, I think he might. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to disappear, fella. I'm gonna have to leave you, pony. Yes, I'm gonna have to leave you, I'm afraid.
See, look at them clawing that three second time back. I think they can still do it if they aimed diagonally down towards my pawns. Yes, I can take their pawns off, but I don't think my pawns will survive. He might have this one saved. If he goes one, we take. If he goes down, then we take, I suppose. Hey, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that might be okay for us. If he pushes, take. King comes down, take. King comes across. We have energy to come back here, don't we? If he goes there, we take. If he comes across, we take comes up we can push up hmm and then it, it, its king could still hi hide in the corner here and get one of those funky stalemate looking positions but he's not well, he's got three seconds increment. I don't think he's going for it though. No. We've taken the wind out of the sails, which is good. Okay, well, that's the one and only fast game I'm playing.